Um, my name is Carmeny Puffer and I won MasterChef South Africa in 2013 and I'm the host of a new food travel show called Girl Eat World. I'm currently involved in many things. It's sort of the patchwork that is my career, which I really enjoy. I, I do a bit of writing, it's um, recipe reviewing and restaurant reviews and you know just general editorial stuff for digital and for print. And uh, the big thing that I'm working on at the moment, or I have been working on, is my TV show. So I'm an executive producer on my show, so I was involved in pre-production and then the shoot and then loads of the post and uh, yeah. The, the strapline logic and magic was one of the reasons why I chose to go to Red and Yellow because I was like, it's magical, it's got to be my place. Um, I think the MasterChef kitchen was definitely where logic and magic came into play because they'd say, well, you've got, a, you've got 45 minutes to do this challenge, uh, but you've got five minutes to go into the pantry. So that's when logic, you go in checklists. And then the magical part of it was when you were in the kitchen and throwing stuff into a pot and tasting and then at the end of it you've got all your ingredients. To me it was always like having different colours of paint. And then you've got your white plate which was your canvas and then you just start drawing all your things and that's when the magic happens. With all the different sort of avenues of, of my work I meet a lot of people who are in media who have sort of hustled their way to the top. Um, which which I really admire, people who've got parents who don't agree with, with their lifestyle, uh, which is very similar to me, and um, just people who had the courage to, to say that they wanted something different for themselves. Even though I have never worked in advertising and I don't think I ever will, what I learned at Red and Yellow is invaluable. Anything you learn is, I mean, you take it with you for the rest of your life. Some of the skills that I learned at Red and Yellow, um, yes, I did learn how to write and how to flex that part of myself, but I also understood or learned what brands wanted. And so, I mean, that's helped me now because if I want to pitch myself or my brand to some big corporate, then I understand the language and also what sort of touch points that that corporation would, would see as valuable. The word game changer to me means someone that is a happy to swim upstream because you're going against the grain and someone who's able to be or to make their life their personal piece of art I guess because it's very easy to follow in, in your dad's footsteps or your mom's footsteps but I think um, being the game changer means that you are strong enough to be able to mix it up and make it your own. If I wasn't doing what I, would, what I am doing right now, I'd be working towards doing what I'm doing right now. I am living my dream.